Matin Vagucht, Agus Fachcha Orst, Kuparshta Gya. Good morning to you and welcome to part two. So we're still talking about winter. Now we're going to talk about the months of winter. And these are organized for convenience and clarity. There's no particular traditional pattern of these are only the only uh, months of winter. Nothing like that. The old Gallic um, the old Gallic calendar was very agricultural. It was based on the farming year. So it wasn't so much about chunks of 30 or 31 days. It was about the seasons and certain features of the seasons as well. It's very interesting. I highly recommend looking into it if that interests you. Yeah, these ones up here, just keeping it clear up here. Okay, Gleva. Also, before we begin, you might hear wind. It's very stormy today. Hi, Stormal. Hi, Guach and you. Hi, Gleguach. I guess Va and Tushka on. So it was raining, and now it's really windy. So I hope that you can hear me over all that. I'll do my best to make sure you can. Okay, Gleva. So let's talk about the winter months. And do loch. And do lock. And do lock. This is December. And do lock. And do lock. So there's a long U sound here because of the accent mark. And there's also a K sound at the end. That's the um, CHD. And do lock. And do lock. I'm emphasizing a bit so you can hear it better. But it's when speaking kind of in a natural way, it's more, it's softer. It's, it's less pronounced. Yeah. And do lock. And do lock. But it's still there. Having your end sounds in Gaelic, having them, you know, sorted out is really, really helpful. Especially if you're an intermediate learner, if you're fluent and you're wondering, you know, what do I do with my Gaelic? You know, how do I improve? Check up, you know, do a bit of work on the ends of your words, just to make sure you got all the little sounds. That's what I did. I did a lot of work on those, and it really made a difference. Yeah? Gleva? Okay. Andu lock. Andu lock. Gleva? Do you recognize any words in du lock? Any small words? There's du here. Du which means black. But, and the meaning here, Dulok, is like the dark heart of winter, if I remember correctly. It's like really the, the dark, yeah, the heart, the dark heart of winter. Yeah. So, do, if that helps you remember it, use it. Do, it's dark outside, it's like pitch black outside. Do. And we just had the solstice, so it's very true. It's not any sort of archaic you know, mystical reason, it's very practical. Yeah, <laughs> it, is the, it is the dark heart of winter. December is, yeah. Gleva. And do lock. And do lock. So, let's add more to and do lock. Let's connect other things we know to it so that we remember it better. And do lock. Well, let's go with it, it being dark. Yeah. So we could say... Um, Ha and do lock Doracha Doracha Yeah Doracha That's a great word to have Doracha means dark So we can use this for the darkness <laughs> The darkness of December And do lock Yeah Gleva And we're not talking <laughs> That's a horrible joke I don't want to say that uh, we're not talking about believing in a thing called love. Sure. Gleva. <coughs> oh, my mind goes in strange places sometimes. Gleva. Ha and du lock dorocha. December is dark. Da oh, sorry. Darkness. That's not quite accurate. Darkness. Dark. Dark. Oh, hi dorocha. Oh, it's dark. Hi dorocha amui. Dark outside. Ha an eichya daracha. Oh, the, the night is dark. Yeah. Oh, ha an eichya daracha. Yeah. Gleva. Daracha is a very useful word. 
All right. Ha ndulach dorocha. What about I like December? Stolium. Stolium. Andulok. Put it there. Yeah. <clears throat> Stolium andulok. I like the December. <laughs> Maybe you like all the lights, all the holiday lights, the holiday traditions. Yeah. Happy Festival of Lights. Happy whatever celebration that you have going on. Yeah. Gleva. Stolium andulok. I like December. If you don't like December, chatolium. Let's make some space here. Chatolium and Yeah. Gleva. Just like that. Stolium and dulok. Chatolium and dulok. We could say ha and dulok. Doracha. Yeah. So we can describe it. Ha and du lach fuur, I guess. Dorach. Gleva. Just like that. Yeah, shene. Okay, maha. <clears> hmm. <throat> so, moving on. An du lach, the December. Pretty straightforward. But what about in December? Hmm. It's pretty straightforward again. Words that start with D in Gaelic are oftentimes pretty easy to work with compared to others. So, outsan dulok. Right? In the December. Again, we want the the in there, in the December. In English, it it just wouldn't feel natural to my to my English to say the December. Although I totally get where it's coming from when it comes to Gaelic. Yeah. But please, you know, remember that in Gaelic. Outsan dulok. And And also your capital letters. Those matter too. Shows that it's a month. Yeah. Okay, Maha. Uh, let's see. What else could we put in here? Ounce and Duloch. What could what could happen, Ounce and Duloch? Um mm, hmm. well we could say, you know, ha hai doracha ounce and duloch. Sure. Yeah. Let's see. Ha i dorach. Ha i dorach out and do loch. Yep. Clever. Mm -hmm. Ha i fuur out and do loch. If you like, if you maybe if you do some traveling, if you go back to visit anyone, you know, be me a shual. I travel, be me a shul, ounce and dulach. That kind of thing. Treva. Okay, nice. So we have andulach, just December. Ounce and dulach, right? Ounce and dulach in December. And then what else? What else do we have here? Well, we want to say of December. So using it as a describing word or associating something with it. Me, I'm very fond of snow as. I'm sure you know already. You've seen my other videos. So let's do the snows of December, right? December snow. All right. We had some wonderful December snow here on Saturday. So let's see. Schnjach. Right? Snow. Schnjach. And then Dulach. But we need something to bridge them. We need something to connect them, actually. That's more accurate. So, we want to say, of the December. Snows of the December. Na. Of the December. Snjach na dulach. There we are. December snow. If you're fond of it too, Use this phrase all the time. Stolium schnjach na dulach. I like December snow. If you don't like it, chatolium. Chatolium schnjach na dulach. Etc., etc., etc. 
Yeah, Gleva. So you can put any word here and then Nadulok after it to have it be that thing of December. Mm hmm. Gleva. Okay, so what else do we have here? Hmm, that looks pretty good, I think. That looks pretty good for Andulok. Andulok is pretty straightforward. And here we're going to use na. Dulok is a feminine noun grammatically, so that's why we use na. Gleva. Okay. Shniach na dulok. Oh, let's get one snowflake in there. Yeah. Bria. Glevria. Yeah. Oh. Gleva. <clears throat> okay. Ha shniach na dulok. Bria. Oha, oha. Very nice. Okay, so this is how Andulach works in different ways. Let's come down to our next one here. Amphulioch. 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 This can take some practice to do. It's kind of a weird sound at first. Thulioch. But with, um, with some practice and once it becomes natural, in my experience, it's quite a quite a lovely word to say. Um, it has a different feel than January. Um, but I'm biased. I, I love Gaelic. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's our word for, our term for January. The January. Remember, all these are the. The January. The December. That matters. Um, what does Fulyach mean? Well, Fulyach, as I remember learning, means something like the wolf time, the, the coming of the wolves, that kind of thing. And we have the, an old word, or part of an old word for wolf, in the beginning. Ful. Ful. Yeah. Leva. It's not used anymore to mean wolf. This is an old, old word for it. But we still have it in this word for January, or the equivalent of January, I should say. Remember, the Gales didn't have their month starting, you know, okay, at this specific time and only going for these many days. No, 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 no. That's a very, that's definitely a, another culture bring, bring in that idea. Yeah. Amphilioch. Okay, Maha. So, wolf time, wolf month, the coming of the wolves. Why? Uh, well, this is the wolf time because it's about the middle of, yeah, about the middle of winter. So food is probably going to be scarce. So they're going to come closer and closer to where humans are looking for prey, looking for any sort of food. So people would see wolves more often at this time. Thus, it's the wolf month. That's the explanation that I was given. Yeah, it's quite lovely. Again, if that helps you remember, please, you know. Use it. Use it. The months can be hard to keep in mind, you know, to have them ready, you know, instantly. So whatever connection you can make, please use it. Amphilioch, the wolf month. Speaking of Amphilioch, there will be some more Witcher videos coming to you next month. And what better time than in the wolf month, right? To go back and see what's going on with Geralt and some of his adventures. And some of the other characters involved in the world of the Witcher. So that's coming in January. Gleva. Stay tuned. All right. So I'm mm, What could we do here? Well, stolium I'm I like January. Stolium I'm If you don't, chatolium I'm There we are. Great. Straightforward. Let's describe it. Ha am Ha am fulioch fur. Ha am fulioch fur. There we are. January is cold. <laughs> ha am fulioch fur. We could say be am fulioch fur as well. Certainly. Yeah. Be am fulioch fur. Ha am fulioch fur. Yeah. You could put in anything here. Ha am fulioch bria. Ha am fulioch savoch. Ooh, let's do that. Savoch. Savoch. 
Mm -hmm. January is quiet right after the holiday season. Maybe there's snow, it's cold out. Everyone's in winter mode. Sabo. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not Sabo. <laughs> Maybe it's really, really lively. That's great too. <laughs> okay, Maha. So, am Amfölja, the January. Again, we're keeping this uh, F capitalized. I've seen it not capitalized, actually, in, in, more, in older writings, and that seems okay. For clarity's sake, and probably more modernly, it's good to have that be a capital F. Yeah, Reva. All right, how do we say in January? In January. Aun sun. Off to a great start. Aun sun. Ooh, what's going to happen here? It's our friend, Lanishin. Gleva. Aunt Sanurio. Aunt Sanurio. As if one weird sound wasn't enough, here's a whole other weird sound. <laughs> the FH is silent. Aunt Sanurio. This is the N sound, just coming to meet the rest of this word here. Anulioch. FH is silent. Just like that. Leva. Ansanulioch. Again, kind of, might be kind of odd to say, just give it some practice. It, it will feel less foreign. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay. Leva. Oh, before I forget. One thing about Fölioch is this is the modern spelling of it. Traditionally, you might see it with a T. Here, like that. You might see it with a T. Fölchoch. That's actually the, the way I learned when I first um, started learning Gaelic. Fölchoch. Am Fölchoch. Ansenülchoch. And it's totally fine to say Fölchoch or Fölioch. Totally fine. Gleva. Okay. So, Aunsenulioch. Let's bring this back to that L sound. Uh oh. There we are. Gleva. Aunsenulioch. What, what could we say about January? Um, what happens in January? Maybe, ooh, maybe some people go skiing. Maybe you have a tradition of going skiing with the family or by yourself or with a friend or with your dog or goldfish or iguana. Right on. So, be me a skier. Be me a skier. Be me a skier, ansenulioch. Yeah, there we are. Be me a skier. Be, because it happens regularly, or we're talking about the future. Like, oh, what will you do in the new year? What are you going to do after the, after the holidays? Oh, be me a skier, ansenulioch. Gleva. Skier, we need someone skiing here. Okay. I guess at le pom pom goggles zoom <laughs> clever <laughs> a skill <laughs> hopefully you get the idea <laughs> clever well, stolium, stolium of the askier, mm -hmm. stolium cross country, yeah. Leva, be me askier, ansenulioch, ik, sugarloaf, if you're in Maine, maybe, or Howen and Whistler, right? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. That's the extent of my skiing knowledge. Leva, <laughs> okay, maha. So, am fölioch, what about of January, or 
connecting something with January, a January thing. Well, let's take our example here, Schniach again. Schniach, because here in Maine, oh, be more than Schniach gaun. <laughs> more than, more than, more than, more than. Okay, so let's bring this over here. Schniach. Right? So we're saying snow of the January. Snow of the January. January snow, but literally what we're saying here. That's the pattern. Snow of the January. What do we do? Well, let's put January here. Something's going to happen. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit more complicated than undo loch, I'm afraid. Schniach an ölich. Schniach an ölich. Schniach an ölich. Maybe it sounds a bit like the Swedish chef. Schniach an ölich. Could you? Anyway, <laughs> let's let's not go down that road. <laughs> Snow of the Schniach an ölich. Snow of the January, snow of the wolf time, wolf snow, that kind of thing, of the January. Gleva. Schniach Ganerich, snow of the January. Lovely. It sounds epic, doesn't it? Instead of just, you know, January snow. No, no, this is Schniach Ganerich. Schniach Ganerich. <laughs> it's epic. Quite epic. Gleva, snow of the January. So it's changed a bit here, again. And as I pointed out in other videos, we're seeing the same thing right here, this I at the end of a word. This is a common way to notice that genitive's happening, this of that thing. Gaelic likes to do this, put an I at the end, often. Okay, Maha. Gleva, nice. Very nice. So, heck, we've got some space here. Huh. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be <laughs> things would be, I don't know, I guess a bit more together. That's Shin Shin Marahai. Shin Marahai. Ooh. Oh, we need to put that up here. Shin Marahai. Shin Marahai. Shin Marahai. Oh, we don't even need that. Let's make a speech bubble. Gleva. Or a lemon, apparently. <laughs> Whoop. Shin Marahai. That's how it is. That's a good phrase to have. You can you can use that as a response to many, many Gallic questions and anything, you know, people throw at you. Most of the time you can respond respond with Shin Marahai. Shin Marahai. Yeah. So have fun with that. So it's a good little motto to have. Shin Marahai. That's, that's, yeah, that could be a motto for the last few years, too. Shin mara hai, shin mara hai, umbliadna. Shin mara hai, umbliadna. That's how it is this year. Like, whoa. Gleba. Okay, coming back over here. Angyaran, our last month. The best month because it's my birthday month. Yeah. It's also when we start having enough sunlight to grow things. So if you're thinking of starting your seedlings, um, February is a great time to do that. And we'll weave that in. We'll weave that into our examples here. Okay, Maha. Angyaran. <clears throat> angyaran, angyaran. Well, angyaran. Straightforward. Angyaran. It's the, it's the February, right? The February. Oh, jeez. <laughs> angyaran, angyaran, angyaran. Okay, well, there's a bit of a Y sound in there, too. Angyaran, gyaran. Just like that, angyaran, angyaran. Gleva. So it means the February. It's pretty straightforward. If you like February, 
Stolium angiaran. I like February. Chatalium angiaran. I don't like February. Maybe let's write that one up. I know a lot of folk get tired of winter, and February and March can be kind of stressful times. Yeah. I hear you. Chatalium angiaran. Hmm. And let's see. Ha angiaran. Ha angiaran. Fur. Ha angiaran. Guoch. 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 Okay, looks kind of like a cloud Cthulhu monster thing. That's okay. Elder God Cloud. Guoch. Oh, <laughs> it means windy. Hai guoch and ju. Hai guoch aunt and duloch. Hai guoch aunt and ulioch. Ha and gyaran guoch. It's true because that's the meaning of the month. And gyaran does mean. Something like the, the month of cutting wind, if I remember. Okay. <laughs> like wind, like having an edge to it, like a knife, not anything else. <laughs> of wind that cuts like a knife. It's the time of wind that cuts like a knife. Cutting edge. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, han gyaran we could say. Gleva. What about in in the in the February? Well I'm gonna start with ounce ounce uh, Yaran Ounce Yaran Here we are Ounce Yaran Gleva. And you'll notice there's a Y sound there now, a stronger one. Ounce yeran. Ounce yeran. An gyaran. Ounce yeran. Gleva. Shine. Shine. Oh, pardon me one moment. I need to plug in the camera. Phew. <laughs> that was close. Gleva. Okay. Ounce yeran. And yaran, ounce yaran, in the February. Gleva. Um, let's see, what could we, what could we do here? Ounce yaran. Ounce yaran. Well, if you have a birthday in February, I do. And if you do too, Gleva. We're born in a wonderful month. <laughs> let's put that, my birthday is in February. Be mo ho la bre Be mo ho la bre ounce yaran My birthday is Be mo ho la bre ounce yaran and this isn't just to advertise my birthday. <laughs> it, excuse me. <clears throat> it just so happens that my birthday is in February too. Okay, Maha. So anyone out there with a February birthday, this is for you. Bimoholabre yaran. Gleva. What else could we say? Hai hai fur hai fur yaran. Hai guoch yaran. Be me a skier, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, Gleva. Okay, Maha. <clears throat> now, what could we do here for our last one? Schniach knedulach, schniach knelich. Solace.
Solus. Solus Ayaring. Again, the I at the end. Solus Ayaring. Ooh, this is kind of smushed. Solus Ayaring of the February. There we are. Gleva. Solus Ayaring. <laughs> Solus Ayarain, just like that. Light of the February. Solus Ayarain. So what's different here? Well, we have an I at the very end there. Uh, other than that, it looks like this too, right? This is, this is kind of interesting. Angyaran, just by itself, Angyaran. And then the first change we get is at the beginning, Aunce Yaran. And then after that, first and uh, at the beginning and at the end. Solus Ayarain. So there's a pretty complete view of how a Gallic word can change in different situations, right? The February, in the February, and then of the February. Yeah, Gleva. And you don't need to master this right away. Not, not at all. No, no, it takes time. It takes time and repetition and frustration and <laughs> coming back to it and doing it again and more. And we get more each time. We get more each time we re revisit things like this. And the Gallic that we bring at those times to when we review things is stronger. Yeah, so we see more. So, like with any of my videos, rewatch this as many times as is useful to you. Take notes, you know, revisit it. It's gonna be there for you forever, really. Kleva. <laughs> All right, Solus Ayarain. Solus Ayarain, the light of February. The daylight is getting noticeably stronger by February. And if you're starting your seedlings, you can start them. Uh, if you have anything planted in the greenhouse, I believe that there's enough hours of daylight for them to start actually growing again, instead of just being kind of in stasis during, during that time, during, um, depending where you are, November, December, and January. Yeah, Gleva. So that's why we have light, Solus Ayarin. The light's coming back. The daylight is returning. It's noticeably stronger and gets stronger every day. Solus Ayarin. Gleva. Solus Ayarin. Well, here we have it. So we have all of our months here, and it's customary to have a, a wee poem, right, at the end. I'm kind of out of space here. I don't want to hold you too much longer. But looking at our our notes up here, I think we could put one together. So if we take we could put those together. Yeah, it was like a, a wee verse to help you remember them. Poetry is really good for remembering things, much like songs are. Um, having images really help, connections with things we already know. Kind of things that are kind of strange happening or memorable for our minds. Absolutely. So having a bit of poetry is useful to remembering some of these trickier aspects of, of months. So yeah, let's have that be our verse. So that kind of depicts the progression of winter, doesn't it? It's snow, snow, and then light. Yeah, spring is slowly starting to, to, to come. Yeah. Wonderful. There we have it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Looking for this lesson, looking at these months here and all my videos this year. It's been a real pleasure to share different aspects of Gaelic with you, to share stories with you, to share more of Maine with you. And I'm forward in those three, three wee videos. So thank you so much for absolutely everything this year. I wouldn't be doing what I am without you. And I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm so grateful for everything that you do. I am. I'm looking forward to seeing you next year. As I mentioned before, traditionally we could put an I on the end, but we won't here. 
auntenilioch bis in a coet er videoen me yen and witcher. There'll be more witcher videos ready for you on this channel. Auntenilioch in January. Perfect time for it, right? The wolf month. Okay, well, you take care. Happy holidays to you. Happy Festival of Lights, ha Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate, whatever is meaningful to you. Really a, a happy one, a cozy one, a healthy one to you and to those who matter to you. And I'll see you in the Wolf Month. Okay, Gleva, Gleva.